so you want to be productive with your iPad. And this video is right for you because in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best productivity apps for your iPad. Let's get started. So how's it going guys, this is Apple Fox channel here and the iPad and the tablets in general are not dead yet. So that means that many people still use them in everyday life, meaning there are still many great apps for the iPad on the App Store that you can download right now. iPad in general is meant to be like for those productive people that want to get a ton of work done. So the very first app I would like to start with is actually a calculator because if you have an iPad, then you probably know that there is no stock calculator coming with the iPad, which is definitely a mistake from Apple. But anyways, I don't think it will ever change in the future. It is not here in the iOS 11. So who cares if it will come in the next version? It's not here, so we have to find a solution for that. We need to find a replacement in order to actually like use calculator on the iPad. And that is not a problem because there are so many different types of calculators on the App Store available to download for the iPad. But I just wanted to pick the best one and the most productive one at the end and the name of this app is my script calculator as you can see we got a quick tutorial in order to like see how it basically works so only using your finger you can actually scribble the numbers on the screen and instantly get the result so we go like 1 plus 24 so it is 25 so the result is correct and let's move on to the next app and as you can see this is what the icon actually looks like yes there is a cow on this icon and this application is called remember the milk and as weird as it sounds it is a very great application and i of course recommend you to download it because it's gonna keep you productive like crazy so let's get inside it to see what it looks like so Remember the Milk is the smart to do app for busy people and what do busy people want to do? They want to be productive. So if you happen to be a busy person or if you would like to become one, then this application might be very useful for you. But let's skip the tutorial for now because who wants to read this? Signing up is also required if you want to use this application. Now we finally managed to get inside. So as you can see, this is what the user interface actually looks like. And on the left side, we have this panel with like all tasks today for tomorrow for this week given to others because you can also share the created to-do list with other people using this application. It works like on couple devices. It even works on the Apple Watch. So if you have one, you can of course download it right there and have the to-do list uh, actually displayed on the Apple Watch on your wrist. So it is, you're gonna be really productive with this application. Of course, you need to find your way how you will use this application. Let's move on to the next app because I don't want to beat around the brush for another 15 minutes. So as you can see, this is the one called Liquid Text and let me open it up for you in order to show you what it looks like. So we got this welcome page right here and we might actually take a look at the intro right here. So let's click on next and it puts all notes into your workspace. I mean, you can of course mark up some words, you can like select the important stuff and it works really well. It is basically like a reading editor or reading application for documents and that kind of stuff. You get so many different opportunities and options with this app. So as you can see, you can even pinch to compare the document pages right here. Of course, everyone thinks of it or thinks about productivity in a different way. That means that it is really hard to find an application that works for everybody. But there are many people that work with documents and with this kind of stuff and with this type of information written in this. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're doing this for school or for your business. I think you will definitely enjoy using it. I mean, we have to get used to it, of course, because this is probably something different that you are used to, but it works well. What's really important to mention, I think, is that it only works with the PDF files as well as the docx file. So I don't think that it should be a problem, but I just wanted to mention it anyways, that it doesn't work with any other file. And here is the next application I would like to talk about in this video in terms of productivity, of course, and it is the fourth one. So as you can see, it is the timeline 3D. If I open it up, I can show you what are some of the examples right here. So let's open up this and it's actually preparing all of the 3D textures and that kind of stuff. So we're going to have to wait. And here is the timeline. I mean, this is, of course, an example, but you can create something like this on your own. And it is a really great way of presenting stuff. I mean, everybody does something different. So in case you want to present something, I think that it is a very great app. Productive people actually create something. And if you want to show others what you actually created, then this is a really great way to do it, actually. The last one from the list of my top productivity apps for the iPads is one called Google Calendar. 
I know that this is one of the basic apps, but I know that everyone wants to use Calendar or that everybody needs to use Calendar. And of course, there is the one from Apple, but I wouldn't prefer this one. I would like to have this one from Google for one simple reason. And the reason is that it works with your Gmail account, with your Google account, and you can pretty much log in on every single device that you have around your house. You can go to your computer, to your desktop, to your iPhone or iPad. It doesn't even matter if you have an Android you will be able to use this app like all time. And it is optimized really well because it's from Google, of course. And as I mentioned, it will work on every single device. So this is the reason like why I would like to use this one over the one from Apple. Even though I don't really think that the features are really different here, the optimization and that kind of stuff is really amazing on the Google one. So that is the reason why I recommend you to use this one. And that's it guys, that is the end of this video, I just really hope you enjoyed it, I just really hope that I could help you with your iPad, and please let me know if you would like to see more videos of this one, please let me know if you have an iPad, if you still own one, and if you would like to see more top apps for the iPad. And if you enjoyed this video then definitely click the subscribe button because I am creating like a lot of Apple related videos, so make sure you won't miss it. Anyways, have a nice day and see you in the next one. Peace.